Hi everyone, 12 News Meteorologist Stephen Matragrano here with a Weather Now update for you on this Thursday. Some big news, we finally hit 90 degrees in Providence. This is the first official day of 90 degrees and that of course has been 384 days since the last one which was August 19th of 2022. Here's a look at the latest 90 degree days. So this year, today's date, September 7th, ranks the second latest day that we have seen a 90 degree temperature for the first time in that year. Now, some years didn't see any at all. That was 1932, 1951, and 1962. So again, first time this year hitting 90 degrees. Heat advisory in effect for today and for Friday for feels like temperatures anywhere from about 95 to 99 degrees, especially across the in inland sections. But even the beaches are feeling very toasty out there. So uh, no matter where you are, don't let your guard down. Those temperatures are very warm to even hot. Providence again 90 degrees, Newport 87, Westerly 87, New Bedford 90 degrees as well. And here's the feels like temperatures when you factor in the humidity. And uh, you can see again it feels like 95 in Providence, 98 is what it feels like in Taunton, and 97 in New Bedford. Even Newport and Westerly feels like 93. So you get the idea. Very toasty, very summer like out there. And for the rest of the afternoon, similar story continuing. Again, there's actual air temperatures in the upper 80s and low 90s, but it's gonna feel, again, like the mid to upper 90s across much of our area. Then all eyes, of course, have been on the tropics as well. And you can see Hurricane Lee, a category two storm expected to rapidly intensify into a category four and eventually a category five storm over the Atlantic north of the Lesser Antilles. You can see those two uh, number five there icons. Those are for winds around 160 miles per hour. Again, that's cat five status. And uh, this storm is expected to push north and west over the next several days. And notice by next Tuesday morning uh, as a category four storm somewhere uh, north of Puerto Rico, the Domin Dominican Republic and east of the Bahamas. But notice that cone uh, gets wider as you go further out in time. So as we go farther into the future, uh, where exactly Lee goes uh, is kind of still to be determined. We're just simply too far away. Uh, these are what we call the spaghetti plots or the, the model runs of very various different models. And, you know, these update all the time. So they are always kind of changing. And, you know, this particular set of models uh, take the storm to a north turn. But the question that remains is how far west does this system go? Uh, before it makes that north turn. And that's the big question that, you know, we're going to be watching closely as we go forward in time. And uh, that's why we have that in there on the yellow bold there, the watching closely for next week. Uh, you know, it's still too far out to know exact, exactly what uh, the end game is with Lee uh, in terms of our impacts. But this is one of those cases where you just want to make sure you're tuning into us and, and follow along with us and uh, we'll keep you guys updated. Uh, but anyone along the East Coast should just be watching this storm because uh, it's simply too far out in advance to 